hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys if your Wi-Fi is connected on your Windows 11 but still you are not able to access the Wi-Fi so this video is for you I will show you step by step how to troubleshoot this issue easily so first of all guys we need to make sure that we have configured the proper DNS so DNS is domain naming system it is responsible for opening any browser opening any websites so type a run command and simply open the run and on the search result you need to type ncpa.cpl okay ncpa.cpl and hit ok once you hit ok you need to go to the connected network as you can see I'm connected with this option here so we need to right click on it and go to its properties and go to TCP IP 6 version 4 version here then go to its properties and type here 8.8.8.8 and in the alternative 8.8.4.4 .4. so this is the D, uh, this is the DNS of the Google hit OK and also you can also untick the IPP6 version here this option I have already done that if it is stick like this you need to untick this close this and check if your issue is solved or not if still not solve your issue guys so we need to open the command prompt here as admin mode and we will resolve the flush DNS as well as the some socket errors related to the internet so the first command is IP config space forward slash flush TNS this command will resolve the cache ok will flush the DNS resolver cache inside your system and we need to also hit this command net sh space winshock space reset this will restore and resolve the socket address related to the network on your system and after that you must restart your system guys I am pretty sure after applying this method your issue is going to fix ok if still have you have the problem guys so we need to open the device manager so once you have opened the device manager look for your network adapters here expand that and simply update the Wi-Fi driver here as you can see this is the name Qualcomm as you can see so make sure you have selected that and simply update it if search automatically is not working you can look for this also this option and if you have multiple drivers here choose the latest one and see if that is going to fix your issue or not if that is not working choose the older one and try one by one if some of them is working for you or not so after applying this method guys uh, this was the driver I'm talking about that is the virtual driver okay this way. I'm talking about this so once the driver is installed guys you have to again restart the system or also you can right click on the Wi-Fi driver uninstall it so do not tick this option just uninstall it from here and once you have uninstall it you need to click on your system here and then scan for hardware changes okay and also you can restart your system if Wi-Fi driver is not coming up with the system so I am hope guys your issue is fixed now after applying these methods if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching